because she was like, you probably think I'm some kind of weirdo, like running after you, screaming at you. And I was like, absolutely not. I, I can't thank you enough. Hey everyone, it's time for another monkey in the wild. And I use that term loosely, wild, because once again, I have gotten some of the best shots I've ever gotten when I've gone to three ships and right outside my door. So, as you know, I got my unicorn, my eagle shot, at three ships. I've gone back several times since then, and not every time, but a few times, the eagle's been there again, and I got some amazing shots. And even if I didn't take a single picture, just looking at this eagle is just so, just, just puts me in awe. Now, the other day, my wife came home for lunch, and she started screaming at me, dude, get your camera and get down here. And I ran outside and was immediately foiled by the dripping humidity. Yes, dripping. It was so humid that the second I crossed the threshold to walk outside, my glasses steamed up, the filter steamed up, the back of the camera steamed up, everything steamed up, even the viewfinder. I ran around the corner and on the fence was this big red-tailed hawk. It was beautiful. Oh my God, it was so awesome. The, just the coloration. And, and again, I'm just in awe of these birds. Anyways, I watched this for five, 10 minutes. Then I had to do it. I broke the cardinal rule of a photographer and I used my shirt to wipe the condensation off of everything. Tried to do it as gentle as I could. I wasn't like, you know, really grinded it in there. Nothing like that cotton fiber to scratch your freaking expensive filters up. So I got it clear and I popped off probably 50 or 60 pictures. I was so close and every time I took a few pictures, I took another step forward. I was within five feet of that hawk on that fence. He would look up at me, but I kind of feel like with the murder death clause and the beak of death, he really didn't give a shit about me. The hardest part of it was deciding which ones to edit and post. Because it's not torrentially downpouring, I'm gonna go to Pleasure House Point and I'm gonna take a loop. And I'm just gonna do like I did before. I'm gonna do a little slideshow at the end and, and kind of show you what it's been like for the past few weeks. That being said, I'm bringing you with me. So let's go. Lots of cicadas singing today. So yeah, it is a very pleasant day. I'm just giddy with excitement of being able to just take a quick little walk through here and enjoy myself. Right over there on that tree, which I consider a bird tree, there is a great blue heron and one, two, three yellow crested night herons. And then over there, there's another, which looks like a, maybe a juvenile yellow crested night heron. So yeah, right off the bat, we're, uh, we're doing well. Well, that was totally cool. I just had a woman who was out walking with her family, basically sprint up to catch me to tell me that there was this really cool bird back there in look, the grass line. Totally missed it. It was a red-tailed hawk sitting there eating another bird. And I just think that's awesome. Cause she was like, you probably think I'm some kind of weirdo, like running after you, screaming at you. And I was like, absolutely not. I, I can't thank you enough. So look at this, another hawk. It has been a great few weeks. Okay, this was shockingly an incredibly fruitful trip. Perfect for my foray back into a monkey in the wild. There are so many birds out here. I mean, I've seen so many different kinds instead of just a, a ton of yellow crusted night herons. Not that there's anything wrong with that. This was just a, I mean, I'm taking the full loop just for the sake of getting the exercise in, but I think I'm done taking pictures because holy crap, I mean, I, I can't complain. So many amazing birds here today. And of course, amazing people, which is why I love to come here because that woman did not have to run as far as she did to catch up to me and then take me all the way back so that I could see that red-tailed hawk. I am glad that you came out with me. It's just another beautiful day in Zamunda. So that's all you're gonna get for this time because I need to get home now 
and do day job stuff. Boo! But that's okay. Day job keeps me going. Aha. Uh -huh. Unless anybody wants to start sending me money. Okay, so that's all you get this time. I highly encourage you, get off your ass, get out into nature. You don't have to take pictures, but just get out and enjoy what's around you while you still can, all right? So that's all, I'll see you next video, bye-bye.